Yes, we're back again. And it looks as though we're building it up nicely, as you can see. Just straightened up a few lines, strengthened them a bit. And what we're going to do first of all is to get in this green eye here. Do you remember the extra one I said at the end during the last video? Because I think it needed another shape in here, but I just wanted to show you what it was the idea I had to get in here and it's so it'll dry as we're going along with the rest of of the peacock. Just to show you, okay? Just building it up nicely there. If there's any other spots that you think need a little bit, just do it, you know, nice and loose because the whole idea with this is it's a dynamic piece. Dynamic with colour, dynamic with, with species, dynamic in every sense. And if you just see another little piece and say, oh yeah, I need a little bit of green there, just throw it in for the moment. We will come back to it again and add more to it as we go along, so don't worry. Okay, I can see that one there. We'd see, we might get another one up here at the top. We don't know yet. We'll have a look at it as we go along. Okay, so basically that's, that's the way we're going to go, okay? So we have those there, just clean it off. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we want to get a little bit of shape into the main body. So we're just basically going to do a little, go into our Brilliant Blue. We have put out more colours. Do you remember the Brilliant Blue is on your palette as well? We have that here. Can you see that? Okay. A little bit of water again. You know that magic mixture we say, sort of yogurty mixture, not too watery. Now we want to get a line, it's a little sort of... A contour coming down here to give the sense of fullness not a straight line but a sort of a contour like like this you know coming down there and with a little bit of a curve in it like that okay can you see that lovely yeah and we're just just to get this other color in here and we're gonna go around by the line itself all of this will be strengthened at the end okay don't worry this thing about the stylized painting is to take it quite a long time to paint you know because you um you're developing it as you go along in some cases i have an idea normally before i start one well with this i know it pretty well at this stage this motif but sometimes as you go along you, you just you, you see another something else springs into your mind and you say no i'll change that i want to try something else and i see that idea it gives it a bit more body or whatever and we're going to go around the eye up here as well with the light blue. We're going to follow that circle. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm leaning on the brush. Do you know what I always say? To get these lines, you have to lean on the brush. If you go outside, it's just a little bit of a blip there. Just come back for your blue again. Go around again, leaning on it again. If it's too thick in certain areas, you can come back in with your cobalt blue. As you know, everything there's nothing permanent about these you can change it you know the blink of an eye okay now can you see that idea <laughs> okay great yeah i know keen my son always watches my videos he loves them he loves all my jokes as well he watches them continuously okay that's grand now we have that now the next thing we're going to move on to we leave those to dry we can see the cobalt blue needs to be touched up here a little bit so we might do that while we have some cobalt blue here we're going to move our mixture out of the way, we don't need that for the moment. Just when we see little things like that, see this is what I'm saying it's all about, I'm just going to add a little bit there, just for the moment, and a little bit there, and I can come back to it, it'll dry. We're not going to be working in that area, so it'll be okay, it'll dry itself in the air, because it's quite warm in the studio. Now next we're going to go and have a look at the individual eye shapes, okay? Um, what we need then is we just need a darker pastel just to show you in the middle of each one let's say this is a full one here there is a smaller okay i'm going to do it with the front it's not dry enough so i'll do it with our mixture here there is a smaller line which echoes the shape of the overall eye okay so we're doing this with a small round brush okay and we're coming in and we're just going to get this shape in like this in the center it doesn't have to be exact you know that's the that's the beauty of it because feathers are quite delicate you know we're making them quite solid and firm okay like that going out there 
Same on this side here, just coming in like that, just to get that extra shape into it. Before we go any further, just to show it, and then this this shape here, there's only half of the bearing because the other part is hidden. And then down here we have a full full one again. So it's just it's echoing the full shape of the eye, but it's with a thin brush. The line is a lot thinner, okay? Coming up here again at the side of the head, okay? Going into the into the into the body colour as well, it doesn't matter. Then up here with too much on the brush. <coughs> That happens when you're working fast coming up there like that okay then we have another full one here and you can see how things are beginning to shape up can you see that already you can yeah okay we're going to bring that in there this guy in here like that okay this guy in here like that okay like that Build it up again, and this fella coming in, peeping out from the corner, and he has another little inner, inner sanctum within his eye. And coming out here from behind the base tail feathers, okay, can you see that? And we're going to have to reinforce that, that colour around those as well. Which is grand, we can get that with the bigger brush. I'm just doing it because I have some deep tone on my, on the little brush. As I said, don't be worrying about any colours that need to be reinforced. That'll all happen in good time. That all happens eventually. Now you see, I think I got them. No, I didn't get them all. There's one there. Look, there's always one. Okay, so we have this guy here coming in here. Coming in there like that. Now, okay. That's all those little eye shapes. For the moment. We're going to, that one is still wet, so we can't do it. <clears throat> Might get in another one up there. As we could continue on. Okay. Now, we're going to get a slightly larger round brush. I have it here, yeah. This is actually a number five. And I was using a number, what was it I was using there? Oh, it's obliterated, is it? A, that was a number two. Okay, so we jumped up quite a bit. And we're just going to get in another colour, the orangey light red colour, which I have here on my palette as well. Just to give it, make a little bit of sense. Give a little sense to his beak. And his eye, okay, to help us to start off. And you'll see how this will jump out. Okay, just holding my hand steady. Well, I'm actually holding my elbow steady in this situation because you know I've showed you how to steady your hand uh, by forcing, you know, a fist which are non dominant, leaning on it like that. When this, I'm actually leaning, putting it down here as well, and leaning my elbow on it. You know which helps as well that can steady your arm as well and then we're just going to have this is still this is dry so what we're doing is we're doing a little sort of centerpiece here you don't need an exact circle for this okay and sometimes if you want to finish off the bottom this is what you could do look turn it upside down you don't have to stand on your head bring it around like that okay and that gets in the eye shape okay can you see that that's going to work like that. Then what we do then is, we're going to divide the eyes into halves, okay? In the green section, we're going to have a line of the aqua green, the turquoise, and then we're going to have the deep yellow and another line of light yellow inside that again. But first of all, before we do any of that, we're going to go for our orange. Can you see that? The orange center. All of these are little details, you know, which is, it's time consuming, but next we're going for another brush, we're going for a three this time. And I'm just, just varying the size because the shapes are varying size as well. And we have our orange here, look, laid out and all on my lovely Missy palette. Okay. Let's see how this goes, okay. Let's see how far we can get with these uh, before we start, start going, having to go over certain colours, okay. Okay, we're trying to do it without touching off the, the dark delineation. But it's just to show you how we start, how it starts taking form and building up. And it's like a little bit of magic when the colour starts contrasting with each other, you know. And um, that's the whole point of this. So 
forget about that green guy looking in there on the right because we can adjust him eventually. Um, uh, when it's all right, but it's still a bit wet. I'm just sort of taking a chance here going in to these areas because they're quite still wet. And we want to get the pure colour, but don't worry, we'll be going back into it again. With that one then, as we're progressing, we might take that one out completely. We'll have to see because we don't want it to interfere too much with the crest at the top of the head. So we might take that out and just continue on with our greens. I'll dry it and have a look at it, okay? After this. Okay, we get another little orange center in here. It's cool, another little orange center here. Which would be fine, we'd be able to steady up all these and reinforce them. Another orange center here. Can you see the way it's beginning to light up? Same idea as when you're doing those halfpenny bridge paintings, huh? And it's like switching on the lights on the bridge. A little bit of green down there needed, look, a tiny bit up there as well. And it just takes off as soon as you start introducing those wonderful colours. And it's all to do with colour. What I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to take that out because I know it's going to interfere with the composition at the top. But this is what happens, you see, in art. And that's the wonderful thing about it. It's all a learning process. So we're just going to rub this out here in case it dries too quickly. As we'll go over, I'll show you what we're doing now in a second. Let's rub that in a little bit just to get it off. Let that dry for a moment. So what I want to do is, uh, <clears throat> now that we have this brush, uh, with the bright yellow, I'm just going to go around. I'll show you what to do on the tail because that's more or less dry. See that lovely, the light cadmium yellow. Get a nice little texture with it now. A little bit of uh, water, not too much. Twist it. <clears throat> And then the idea is, it's the same idea as the bricks again, I'm afraid to say. Okay, okay, you have the top one like that. Then you're gonna make sure that the second one comes around like this. Okay. Can you see the idea? Okay. You're alternating it again each time. When you have your center line down here, we come back in again with another center one again to alternate it, okay? And then you curve it out there and it curves out here to meet the edge again. Can you see the way it's building up? Almost like a herringbone pattern, something like that. And this is all to simplify the magnificent peacock. And th these are the little bits that we can do which are dry. And then we have to dry it then to get and go on with the other bits. And I'll show you how to do this now in a second. We do the same idea, another big sweep here right in the center. And we have him coming down there like that. And then his friend will be coming in here from the edge. Okay. I'm sure you can see the pattern now. And same idea as if that's the center and that's going around like that. Okay, can you see that idea? And that will come out there and we won't, there's no need really for it because the curve will be up there. It'll come down on either side like that and then you'll have a little piece of yellow in there at the bottom possibly. Just connecting up that goes off in the other direction. <coughs> Okay, can we see that? We're trying to, trying to get rid of that little point. I want to make a curve out of it. We'll bring more green into it to do that. Okay, can we see that? Now, that's cool the way it's working. Like, I'm really happy with that. Now, I just want to show you this. To show you this correction, because it's a good idea, because I'm going to correct something now. We're going to continue this line down here, the center line, okay? The connection that we had with this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue these up here and this guy here like these those okay so you remember from the previous ones that we have our blues here okay this direction we're going to continue on up here with the blue okay and continue on up this side here with the blue because we're alternating it 
because I took out that little centerpiece I thought it was too much too much detail up here that would um, would fight with the crest but that could happen to you as well when you have in your pattern it's quite normal for these things to happen and then we're going to do the same down here because we want our green to continue up there and we want it to continue here in this one as well and I'll show you when you when you see the delineations again you'll understand and then the green in here and we'll reinforce these again and it'll all make sense when you when we get to the crest, the crest stage and then just go back in here okay just to show you this was the line connecting the eyes okay but well we got rid of that eye we're going to bring the line down there anyway that'll help you reinforce as well then we're going to continue across with this one here and then continue across with this one here up like that okay can you see it now the way it's making sense and then this line will come down here we'll get all these deeper and more opaque when when it happens okay now can you see that that's a gap there because we need the crest coming up there and we don't want anything else interfering with it that's cool i like that now okay so we really can't do anything else um, it's still wet there, but we might be able to, okay, we might be able to get just a little bit of yellow in there. Do you know what, the deep yellow. I'll show you now why we have it here. We might as well try it, because it's nearly dry. Here's the deep yellow. Cadmium yellow deep. Yeah, we'll try it now. Cadmium yellow deep, it should do it. A little bit of water. Yeah, a bit of water into it. Okay, very good. And the top half of each one, of each eye, is going to be this base colour over the green. We're going to sort of bring it halfway. We're going to have a, an imaginary line there halfway. Put in here your deep yellow, okay? Don't worry if it goes on to your other lines, you can bring it up again. Leaving that one out for the moment. Because you know that's still, still quite wet. We can bring those lines in again. there nicely yeah like that it's okay it's not too bad mind you okay this is just to show you again this is basically what I'm here to for to show you okay in there a little line going across halfway like that remember going right out of the painting because you want it to go right out and we have our half base here as well going all the way around there and all the way around there and it's nice to have the green underneath if it peeps through a little bit don't be worried because all the feathers are ir iridescent you know i'm going to say that this is sort of about halfway let's say halfway here okay coming around here like so cutting in here about halfway there like so now can you see what's happening now isn't it coming alive really nicely we can adjust the beak at any stage, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. Um, there's only a little bit peeping in here from the top. Most of this is green. As I said before, your dark line can come in again. It's not really. Then the same idea coming down here to approximately half. Approximately half again. And you'd say, oh yeah, I can see the idea now. Yeah, you can, can't you? And this is what, because this is what we were going towards. This is what the journey is about. You know, and it's well worth it, isn't it? When you get all these colours in. Oh, we've a good bit to go yet, though. Don't worry about that. Now that's uh, sort of halfway there, yeah, as well. Then we have this guy coming in about halfway there, about halfway there. When we get these deep yellows in, we will, we'll have to dry it then. And to get on to the next stage, going around there, halfway around as well. Look, whoop, halfway around. Same idea here, halfway around. Okay, halfway, halfway. Halfway, and oh, where are we? We're up here, yeah. Halfway again. In there as well. Going in there, it's going to go into the edge of that because that's uh, 
Not exactly halfway up there, okay. And we don't really see it here because that is halfway is outside of the painting. Now we will have to go over these again when they're dry. But can you see the way it's 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 taking off now? There's a wonderful sense of yeah, I'm a peacock and I'm enjoying displaying my colours. Get right in there to the edge as well, and right in there. And we'll take it from there then. We'll go from there in a few minutes when I dry all of this and should put the kettle on again. Have another cup of tea. Talk to you soon.